Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. So today we are doing a viewer request and it was requested of me to do a four jaw indicating video. Now this video isn't one I was ever really planning on doing simply because there's quite a few out there already. But what was requested is that I have the camera in the overhead position as I typically do. That way you guys are able to see how I'm manipulating the jaws and the indicator at the same time. Now I've watched quite a few indicating videos and I don't recall there being one in this format so I figured we'd do it. But more importantly one of you guys requested it so I'm going to do it. If there is a machining video that you guys would like to see me do I will do my best to do it. Just leave a comment, send me a message and I will do my best to get it done. Uh, as long as it's within my capabilities. You know, I have a small basement shop and I'm pretty limited on what I can actually do, but I will do my best to do whatever kind of machining video that you guys request. Now there's like everything else in machining, there's quite a few ways to skin a cat. This is just the way that I do it. And the method that I like to use is the four point method. And the way it works is you line up a jaw, with the indicator needle, set your dial to zero, spin it 180 degrees to the jaw on the opposite side. Then you adjust the jaws in your part so that the indicator reads the same on both sides. Then you'll switch to the other two jaws and do the same thing. Set your dial to zero, spin 180 degrees, adjust it so that the dial reads the same on either side. Now another good method is the way that Adam Booth does it over at A-Bomb 79. What he does is he takes the chuck, spins it, finds the high spot, tweaks it. Spins it, finds the high spot, and tweaks it. That is a very fast and efficient way of doing it, but it does take a lot of practice. And Adam has had a lot of practice. He comes from a machining family. He works in a machine shop and he uses the four jaw pretty much exclusively. So he has the practice and the time needed to uh, perfect that method. Now I am myself practicing that method, but I'm not there yet. So this four point method is faster for me. So we'll get right to it. Uh, what I'm going to use piece of seven, eight stock, now I've already preset the jaws. Now I just did this by eye. I didn't run up a center and use a scale to get it perfect, you know, within a few thousandths. So I just did it by eye. So we'll stick in our part and we'll clamp it down. And bring in our indicator and we'll see how far it's out. We're at plus six and we go down to minus two so we're eight thousandths out that's <laughs> that's as close as i've ever gotten it by eye so we'll set it doesn't matter what jaw you start at i'm going to start at this one we'll bring our dial to zero 180 degrees to the other side and it's at minus two so that means that because it's minus that means that the part needs to come towards me one thousandth of an inch. Half the distance. Now we'll bring our dial back to zero and we'll check it. Now we're just roughing it in right now. We'll fine tune it after it's roughed in. So we are within a few tenths. It's close enough for now. Now we'll go to the other two jaws. Set our dial to zero. 180 degrees and we are minus minus eight so again part needs to come towards me I'm gonna loosen this jaw slightly and we'll bring it in four thousandths now what I'm doing going back and forth is I'm working the jaws against each other now Mr. Pete has a video where he uses two chuck keys where he's able to move the jaws against each other. But I only have the one chuck key and I'm too lazy to make another one. So this is the way that I do it. 
So again, we'll go back to zero, make sure we're roughed in. We're within a few tenths. So now we're going to go back to our other two jaws. Set our dial to zero. Hundred eighty degrees, still at zero. So that one's good. Now we'll come back to the other jaws. Now because these are at zero, we should be able to move these jaws directly to zero without doing the hundred and eighty degrees, and it'd be dead on. So here we're plus a few tenths of a thousandth, which is really nothing. So we'll bring it in. Those few tenths. We're at zero, 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 and zero. Now our part is roughed in, or zeroed. Now we can do our machining operations. Now, using the four jaw can be intimidating. Uh, it certainly was for me the first time I was learning to use it. But once you've had the practice, it gets easier and easier every time. Now, according to the clock on my camera, uh, you know, with all my talking and everything and explaining stuff, we're at about six and a half minutes. You know, without all the talking and everything, I can get it dialed in within a minute or two. So, as I said, it takes practice. Eventually, you get used to it and you can dial it in very quickly. That'll do it for this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.